So I decided today would be a really good day to test out my new uh, water heater. It's a solar water heater. I've never tried one of these before, um, but it's extremely hot. It is seriously like, I don't know, uh, hugging an overweight clown kind of heat out here. Something you just don't want to do. Uh, it's like 95 right now. And uh, so I'm going to see if I can get the temperature of water up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit or basically 100 degrees Celsius. I want to see if I can boil water using the sun and so I ordered this. I can't even remember the name of it. This item is called Prepper's Peak and uh, it's supposed to allow me to heat water uh, using solar power so I'm going to test it. I obviously haven't opened it yet. Okay, this is the device itself. It's really not that big. Um, there's that. Let's see. Oh, all right. Those are the panels that you open. I would imagine that this unscrews. And it does. Okay, so I'm going to wash this out. And I, no, I didn't read the directions. I'm going to wash this out, fill it with water, I'm going to leave a little bit of space and uh, I'm going to put it right here. This is on the hood of the Jeep and it should get plenty of sun. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out a couple of regular bottles of water. One will be clear, one will be opaque and we'll test the temperature after various points of time. Um, I really want to see if I can uh, neutralize or deactivate uh, viruses. You can't kill viruses because they're not alive, but if I could do that, that would be pretty cool. So we'll see how it goes. I'll go wash this out and fill it up. The handle actually works as uh, not only a stand, but it also holds the uh, little uh, reflective aluminum flappy things, panels. All right, friends. It's been 90 minutes and I've kept myself a little bit in the shade, but I have a thermometer and I moved all of them uh, because they were in the shade after a while uh, on the Jeep. But let's take a look and see what we have for a temperature reading. I don't know if you can see that, but it is at a little over 100. All right. So, that is not going to stop any bacteria, viruses, but it could make a tepid cup of tea. All right, let's make bets to see which one's hotter. Interesting, almost 110. This is apparently a release in case there's too much steam so it doesn't blow up. Okay. I do have a line on this thermometer that is b the boiling point. Interesting. Um, almost 175. Just got to kind of keep going. What we have proven is that this system works better than uh, just being in the sun. But what I'm going to try to do is keep it in the sun even longer to see if I can get it to boiling. If that works, great. If it doesn't, it's just not as useful. It's about 6 o'clock now, so I think I started at about 325. And we'll see if this has heated up anymore. Ow! Okay, just so you know, the top is warm. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it looks like it's actually boiling. Oh, all right, I know it's at at least 200 degrees. It looks like when I opened it up, it steam came up and uh, there were bubbles. Um, so I know that it was actually boiling. Uh, it, right now my temperature gauge is reading somewhere over 200. I'm going to uh, make doubly sure, but if you can get it to boiling in the sun, uh, it's something that you could use uh, in a situation like mine. 
I am, uh, I'm at my off-grid cabin and uh, I could set this out while I'm working and have hot water. If I needed to, I could apparently, ouch, uh, purify water and make it safe to drink. Um, mostly I would use it for uh, reconstituting uh, dehydrated foods, but uh, it looks like it actually can work. It looks like it actually can boil water. I'm kind of surprised. Pretty cool.